In this video, I'm going to do an overview of the Song Editor in Power Music Professional. The Song Editor is where you can enter chord sheets. There's a chord sheet editor built in and you can edit chord sheets. You can modify music, sheet music that's already in Power Music and you can add sheet music and you can also work with the lyrics of a song. So let's just choose a song. Let's look for Amazing Grace which is in here as a sample song. We can enter the song editor either when we want to create a new song by clicking on here or editing an existing song. So I've highlighted Amazing Grace and I'm going to click on Edit Song. So this is the song editor screen here. This panel here is quite important. This is where you select what you want to edit. If I want to edit the chord sheet, I click on here and I have the chord sheet editor up. And there's a complete video available on how to use the chord sheet editor. If I click on here, there's the Sheet Music Editor, where we can add new music and we can modify existing music that's in Power Music. And finally, the Lyrics tag, we can go there and we can edit the lyrics to a piece of music which has got uh, words to it. The Details here allows us to put in details for a particular song. These details are mainly used for searching. And we have titles, we have first line, we have copyright information, CCLI number, which is a licensing system for Christian music. We can put in authors, that's composers and authors. We can put categories in. We can put our music into libraries, so we can separate out different music we have into different libraries. Again, for worship music, you can put in Bible references. Web links allow us to put in links connected to a song which take you directly to, for instance, the Facebook page of the composer or a YouTube video of the song being performed or it could be a Twitter feed from an artist or something like that. The melody allows us to put in a sequence of letters U, D and S which allow us to find music simply by knowing whether each progressive note in the song is up, down or same as the previous note. Uh, we'll maybe do more on that later in another video. Audio allows us to link an audio file to any song. This is particularly useful for backing tracks. So you can link a backing track to a song so that when you go onto that song, you can fire off your backing track and you can play along to it. It can also be used for practicing. So if you want to listen to someone playing it and you can practice, you can link an audio track. Tempo, this is linked to the metronome. So we can put in a tempo and when you start a song, you can get the tempo to flash or to beep uh, through a speaker so that you've got your tempo for that song. And then of course there's the song notes and this is where you can put in performance notes for the song. They appear on the sidebar in full screen mode and you can put in things that if you're an organist you can put in a registration. If you're a guitarist you can put in notes to remind you use a capo or whatever or you can even just use it for saying what order you go through a particular song. Above this sidebar here, we have how the music is displayed. So if we go back to our sheet music, we can see here that uh, if we want to select the number of pages of sheet music that is displayed in screen, now this particular piece only has a single page, but we can set it to one, two, three, four, or however many pages per screen we want to display. Same with the chord sheet, we can choose how many pages we want to display in the chord sheet. So if I go back to my chord sheet here, and simply change it to one page per screen and then preview I get one page per screen. Coming out of here and changing it back to two that gives us the two side by side. Now remember this can always be changed in real time mode when you're in all songs you can select number of pages per screen. This drop down list here allows you to choose the language of the chords used in the chord sheet editor. At the moment there are three different types of chord notation implemented in Power Music Professional. There's a standard English chords which you can see there just now, just using A, B, C, D, E, F, G and small m for minor and a sharp and flat. But if we change to German or Dutch notation, you'll notice that it changes it into using H and other uh, differences from the English notation. And finally, there's a French, uh, Italian and Spanish, which is based on the Do, Re, Mi type of chords. And we can change between different chord notations depending on what you're used to using. This section here allows us to set up information about a song. For every song we enter in, we should always set a key because that key is then subsequently used when you want to transpose a chord sheet. 
or add capo chords. It's based on the key of the song. This is a list of chords which are common for the particular key that this chord sheet is in. And if we wanted to add a chord or edit this, we can just simply position our cursor on here and click and it puts in the chord that we've selected. Across the top here, we have the ability to choose some of the more unusual chords using the root, variation, extension and bass note. So you can create your own chord and that will be saved in the list here for future use. There are a certain number of characters you can also add to chord sheets. We'll go into this in much more detail in the chord sheet editor and that's what these are here. Across the top here are some tools we can use. This is where you can import from either text or PDF for a chord sheet. And there's some tools here, do, undo, search, and so on. Uh, PARS means that if you click on that, it just checks through the song to make sure that the chord lines are all properly uh, detected. In the sheet music, again, we've got the key, we set it here, and we've got a number of tools we can use across here. Add a part, this is something which will be implemented shortly, it allows you to create different parts for different instruments in a band or an orchestral piece, so you'd have the part for the saxophone, the part for the flute, the part for the piccolo and so on, and these are all saved within the single song, so you can choose to import the parts separately, but they're all part of the same song. Importing from PDF, this is the most common way of adding music into Power Music. You have PDF files and there's a video on importing sheet music from PDF. Scanner, all the scanning software is built into Power Music Professional. It will detect a twin driver of any scanner that's connected either wirelessly or USB to the computer and you can just lay your music on the scanner and scan it in to Power Music. Or if you already have music in picture format, it can be JPEGs or PINGs or GIFs, you can just import these directly into Power Music. So that's the Sheet Music Editor. Let's go and look at an example of actually modifying a piece of sheet music which has got a number of different pages. I'm just going to close this down. I won't save the changes and I'll go to something which is a bit longer so I'll go to Canon okay there it is there and I'm going to edit that let's have a look then at how we can modify the sheet music in the sheet music editor here uh, what we can do is we can select any page we can delete that page we can change the order of the pages are displayed by moving up or moving them down. We can duplicate a page. Now, one of the reasons you want to duplicate a page is if you wanted to implement repeats and cuts. So rather than having to move forward and backward through the music, if you just copy the pages and then paste them into the order in the list here, you would go like page one, two, three, then two, three, four, and then back to one if you wanted to do that simply by copying the pages and putting them in here. So each time you duplicate a page, so for instance, if I take page two here, and duplicate that page, it gets added to the end of the list. So I've now got two pages like that. I could then move that page anywhere I wanted and I could use that then if it was a repeat or a cut or something like that. Uh, the modify button here, that allows you to select uh, any page and if I click on modify, what I can then do is I have the ability to crop it, I can change the brightness and contrast, or to excuse a nice feature that allows you when you're scanning in music, if your music slightly squint on the scanner, then it will straighten it up so that the stave is horizontal across the screen. Um, there's various other tools we can use here just to tidy up the music and to change it. Say perhaps if the scanning hadn't been very good, you can change the brightness and contrast. So that's the song editor. It's a very powerful part of the software. It deals, as I said, with chord sheets, with sheet music and with lyrics. As I said, there are full videos on importing from PDF, from importing from scanner and also for using the chord sheet editor.